Hey yo, today I'm going to teach you on how to check your Evilis driver and your Evilis printer firmware. It also includes on how you update the drivers and firmware too. So let's cut to the chase, straight to the point. So we're going to check our driver. So we clicked about here. So our driver is 6.32.4.1645. That is my current Everly Sprint Center driver. So to check the firmware, we're going to double click our printer over here. So next, we're going to go to system details. At here, we can check our firmware. So my printer firmware is 1701. So what we need to update is 1955. Now, I need you to open your browser, then search for Evolis at the search bar. Next, select the drivers and support. In here, I need you to scroll down and select the printers. Once you have selected the specific model you are looking for, in this page, scroll down and find the software and firmware. Select it, then search for Evolis Premium Suit Setup. So in here, make sure you select the right operating system. I will download the window version because I'm using Windows as my operating system. Then click download. So now the file is downloading. Once you have downloaded it, what I need to do is search for the firmware version 1955. Select it, then click it to download. So once the file has downloaded, open the Evolis Premium Suit. Okay, please click OK. Then click Yes, because we want to upgrade or update our old software. Once you are in this menu, click Next. Then select that, Next, 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 and Install. So, once you have installed, what I need you to do is select yes and we restart our PC then we continue on the next step. So, once you have restart your PC, so in this page, we click next. Then over here, make sure you have connected the USB from the printer to the PC. Then click next and you are finished. You can start your Evalis Print Center. So, once you are in this page, I'll click about and as you can see, this is our latest update. Next, I'm going to teach you on how to update the firmware. Double click your printer. So once you are in this page, I want you to go to the maintenance. Then from here, go to firmware update. Then launch the update wizard. Okay. Once you are in the update wizard page, one important notice. Do not disconnect the data or power cable for the printer because this may cause your printer to be break and once it break, you have to replace the motherboard and warranty is voided. In this page, we're going to select and browse our firmware. From here, we're going to search our firmware. So I'm going to do my download file and select the firmware which is a 1955. So once you have selected, click next then at this point our printer is currently updating so once it is have updated click finish then what we need to do is go to the main menu once we are in the main menu so open back our printer properties so once we are in the printer properties go to system detail and there you go now the firmware version is 1955 so now we are in the main menu so the next step is I'm going to teach you on how to change the manual setting of the ribbon. So next, double click your printer. So from this page, go to printing, then select ribbon. Then from here, tick select the ribbon type. So once you have ticked it, select the ribbon color that you are using. So like now, I'm selecting YMCKO because that's the ribbon that I I'm using right now so that's how you manually select the ribbon type that you are using remember to hit apply bear in mind preventive maintenance service are available please contact our maintenance team for further information you get the contact information down in the description below